All right, so here's my special stash. Three boxes. First one here is wheat pennies. These are fairly rare these days. Out of the 20% of copper, these are maybe, I'm finding them one in a hundred, maybe, maybe less. So they're pretty rare. Let's take a look down in here. Pick one up for you. You can see the back. Looks fun. Oh, dropped it. Same face and on the back. You can see the one cent. Weed ears on the sides there. Some of these can be quite expensive. But the, the more rare ones, like a 1943 weed ear made of copper instead of steel. That's definitely a keeper if you find that. So I have a here. Over here are be amazed at what you can find in standard rolls of pennies. Here are the Canadian coins. I always find those. These are the older ones. The newer ones find many more of those. These are 98% copper of the older Canadian coins. They're worth saving and separating. So the 95% American ones. These are the older Canadian coins. Pick one up here. This one's from 1945. Has King George on the face of it. King George V. Right there. Here's a bicentennial with a dove on the back. Or centennial, whatever. Centennial. Canada's not that old. Here is a 1929 King George the Fifth. The other one was the Sixth. Sorry about that. And he's, uh, this one's maybe worth, I don't know, a couple dollars. I enjoy finding them. It's probably worth more than a few dollars. <laughs> Interesting find too is how many dimes you'll come across when copper mining, copper penny mining. Got about 30 of them. And let's see what else. There are the older wheat pennies. Find some from way back. 30s. See, I'll get one here if I can find it. Well, anyway, I found my oldest one is from 1910. It is... Here's one from 1910. I have another one from 1910 as well. I don't know. I don't want to waste your time going through all these. 1936S. San Francisco. Anyway, I like to separate them. Those are much rarer to find. Come across a lot of foreign coins. Well, not a lot, but surprisingly a lot. There's one from Colombia. Two centavos right there. Here's one from Panama. Un centissimo. Right Bahamas, Bermuda, Barbados. Here's the two Fennig. Get that up there closer. You can see the two. Anyway. Amazing things you'll find. I'm not after the foreign coins, I'm after the American ones. Weed ears. Canadian ones are interesting too. So, happy hunting out there.